Okay, question 10. It says A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral, and that's true because all four points are touching the circumference. A, E is a tangent at A at this point. C, D, E is a straight line, so that's um, a straight line there. Angle C, A, D is 32, and A, B, D is 40, so this is angle. And it tells us to work out the size of angle A, E, D, A, E, D, which is this angle X. You must show you're working and you give reasons for any angles that you work out. Okay, remember you must do this if you're asked. Very important. Okay, so the things that we should think about are our circle theorems. So let's start off by this chord here. Well, this chord is subtending two angles. It's subtending this angle and it's also subtending this angle. And we know that, that chords subtend angles that are equal in the same segment. So this here is 32 degrees. So we can start off by saying that. So that, of course, is angle B, uh, C, B, D. C, B, D is 32 degrees. Angle, angle subtended from same chord in this case CD, in the same segment, are equal. Okay, so that's the first bit. Other things that we should think about are the fact that we've got a tangent, and that's meeting chords of them in fact and when a tangent meets a chord certain angles that are subtended well it's this chord that subtends this angle can you see so we this chord here subtends this angle 40 degrees and we know that the angle from the alternate segment theorem that the uh, the this angle that was subtended by the chord is equal to the angle between the chord and the tangent in the alternate segment. So that's this angle. So this angle is 40 degrees here. So let's write that in there. So DAE is 40 degrees. And this all we need to do for, for that is to write the alternate segment theorem. Okay, now what else have we got? Well, it, in order to find x, we really need to find out what this angle is, because then we've got a triangle, and all the angles will add up to um, 180 degrees. So is there any way of us finding these other angles? Let's have a think. Are we subtending any other angles anywhere? Yes, we are. Well, let's go back to this chord here, and it's subtending this angle. But it also subtends another angle here. So this is also 40 degrees. So let's write that down. So notice I'm just applying my circle theorems, writing down my answers, and explaining them as I go along. So A, C, D is 40 degrees. Angles subtended from the same chord. AD this time in the same segment are equal. Now that's going to help us a little bit, isn't it? So, the reason being, well, we can now find out what this angle is here because we have a triangle CDA. So, the angle CDA, CDA is 180 degrees minus 32 plus 40 um, because of angles in the triangle add to 180 degrees what the internal angles do so this is 180 minus 72 which of course is 108 degrees so this is 108 
Now, as soon as we have that angle, we can clearly find this angle. This is 180 minus 108. So that's angle ADE. ADE is 180 minus 108 degrees. And that, of course, is 72 degrees. So that's 72 degrees. And once we've found that, we can therefore find x. So therefore, x is 180 minus, and then we're going to add up the 40 and the 72. So it's 180 minus 112, which of course ends up being 68 degrees. So the ADE, this was uh, angles in a triangle. Oh, so angles on a straight line. And this one is angles in a triangle. Okay, and that's the answer to that. It's quite a long one. Don't be scared of writing down things to do with your circle things because it's going to get you your method marks. Now, there are five marks available to this question, I think. So we're expecting five sort of things here. One, two, three, four, five, you know. So yeah, quite a lot of quite a lot of work involved in that one.